Hey everyone, it's Mike with It's Pittsfield Tonight. I'm going to jump right into it and I'm going to make this one short, even though I say that all the time and they all end up being about the same length. <laughs> I'm still going to try to make this one short. So there's a lot to talk about. One, I want to talk about tonight's city council meeting. So Tuesday, December the 14th, 6 p.m., we have a city council meeting tonight. A lot of big things on the agenda with that. Uh, some petitions, so pay attention to that. One of the things that I've been paying attention to is this proposed ordinance or proposed ban on snowmobile access to Pontusic, to Curvin Park, uh, which is the access point to October Mountain. Uh, it also says in this proposed ordinance they want to ban on snowmobile, even on your own property, if you're within 300 feet of an, an abutter. And all of a sudden there's this war on snowmobile traffic, which is insane to me. Uh, is a huge outdoor recreation this time of year. It brings in money uh, to the local economy. Uh, I really don't understand it. So, uh, and the petition I will, again, there's a petition going around by uh, Berkshire Snow Seekers Snowmobile Club. I'll put a link to that in the comment section of this video again. And that I believe already has over 2,500 signatures of people that are very upset with this and they don't really understand why they're snowmobile enthusiasts and, and people who do that as a recreation are being attacked right now. Uh, and that's how they feel about it. So that's one of the things, and there's a lot of other things on there. So tonight's council meeting, channel 1303 on Spectrum. If you have cable, uh, PCTV also streams it through their website and once in a while on social media. Uh, but it'll be on their website. You can watch it. They do stream. And again, 1303 channel 1303 on Spectrum Cable. And uh, <clears throat> we'll be going over all the other things uh, tomorrow that are discussed, the big issues. Another thing I want to mention is housing. Now, many of you know I was a big proponent. I wanted to see the city take more money out of free cash to offset uh, taxes this year because of hyperinflation. And I wanted to see the city throw in another million or more. I thought it was appropriate under the circumstances, what we're coming out of. We're in a hyperinflation period, which is we're at like a 40-year, 40 41-year high with inflation right now. And we've seen this housing uh, inflation, hyperinflation in the housing market due to a couple things. Due to incredibly low interest rates and due to short supply. So many homeowners saw as much as a 20% in some cases some few houses, more, but a 20% increase in their housing values. And even though the mayor's tax rate is down, people are paying more in taxes this year. So, uh, and I kept saying, look, it's, it's artificial. It's not, they kept preaching that you're building equity in your house and this and that. And I have many of you that follow me know I kept saying as soon as the feds raise interest rates, you're going to see that housing bubble burst and prices go down. And we looks like we're going to find out possibly as early as today what the Fed's intentions are, and we are getting ready to see a rate hike. So all that equity you were told you earned, watch, get ready to watch that go away very soon. You're going to see the housing market adjust. Uh, so that's something to pay attention to, and I'll be covering more of that as the day goes on, uh, or as the week goes on, I'm sorry. But that's a huge one because those hyperinflated rates, you're going to or, or values, you're going to see come down. It wasn't based on organic growth, and I kept preaching that over and over. And it's not that they didn't know that. I would hope anyway. Uh, it wasn't real organic growth. It wasn't real equity that anyone built in their properties. It was hyperinflated. And if you were happened to be selling your house in the middle of this great, you could get top dollar and more for it. But if you have to reinvest that and buy another property, there's no savings there. Everything was inflated due to the shortage and it was a mess. So anyways, it looks like the feds are getting ready to raise rates. Uh, expect inflation to continue throughout another year and probably into 2023. Don't expect to see much difference on fuel or the gas or any of that. A lot of the, the you'll see fluctuation with gas prices, or I should say with crude oil, uh, based off of fears, based off volatility and futures. You know, people hear, oh, a new variant, and you're going to be hearing tons of different variants for this virus for God knows how long. And that affects the market when people think there's going to be travel bans or things like that. But 
don't expect to see gas, is real, gas really moving much at all uh, for a while now, or, or for quite some time. So anyway, uh, that's it on that. The business tour I'm doing is continuing. Uh, this week, uh, towards the end of this week, I've got videos with ATW Accounting, Kidding Around Consignment, Currency Coffee Company, and the Allendale Underground. Uh, I've got a schedule with New England Dynamark Security, and uh, I'll be doing one with Car Hardware also. So I'm really excited about those, and the GoFundMe is up and going. I will leave that up through the first week of January. And if you can, if you do enjoy this platform and all the different videos and what I do here on It's Pittsfield Tonight, please consider donating to that. It helps me to be able to do all this. Uh, any amount helps, $5, $10, $10 million, $10 trillion, <laughs> whatever you can give. But in all seriousness, any amount, five, 10 bucks, whatever you can give, if you enjoy the platform and you can, please consider doing that. It is a big help for me to be able to continue doing this. It really is the only way I can continue doing this. So, and one last thing I want to mention, uh, and I will be doing an interview with the uh, family, but uh, one of our Pittsfield residents in 2003, Glenn Allison, he was a Pittsfield High football player and Pittsfield High graduate. He joined the military. As far as I know, he was our only Pittsfield resident killed in action in Iraq. And he was killed on December 18th in 2003. And his family, along with some other people involved, have established a scholarship in his name. And I will be doing an interview with his, with his daughter uh, discussing this and I think it's super important. This is an individual that gave his entire being so people like you and me can do things like this and enjoy the freedoms that we have. So I really want to help them push that scholarship program. Uh, I think it's so important and crucial to honoring his memory and what he was willing to sacrifice for all of us. So that's something that I'll be doing coming up. Uh, so that, that is it for now. Please pay attention to tonight's council meeting if you can. Again, PCTV streams it, or if you have Spectrum Cable, channel 1303. And uh, warmer weather, as far as I know, we have some warmer weather right now. But everyone stay safe, uh, stay healthy, and I'll catch you all in the next day or two.